These 3D models are made from recycled plastic waste. A 3D image is designed and uploaded into a machine, which then prints the desired model. Ecoprints Generation, a company in Mombasa, produces the models. They start with plastic pellets, which are heated at a steady temperature to produce filaments. The filaments are then fed into the 3D printer to produce various models. The demand for these models is growing, especially in the education sector. Most of the people who have needed the, the use of the filament and the 3D printing products and use them to teach and educate learners. It's a visual aid which is better as compared to just drawing a diagram on a blackboard or a whiteboard. And um, another industry which I've seen is people who are doing manufacturing. Um, they tend to test out their prototypes. So that is another use which we've been leveraging on as well. Kenya generates nearly 1 million metric tons of plastic waste each year, according to the Sustainable Manufacturing and Environmental Pollution Program, which the UN Trade and Development Organization, UNCTAD, helps to implement. Less than 10% of the waste is recycled with the rest ending in giant trash heaps in the ocean or burned up, releasing harmful emissions into the atmosphere. Jail Industries is one of the few companies in Kenya that recycle plastic. The company processes the waste by breaking it into small pieces, then cleaning and sorting it by color and quality. Some of that plastic is then melted and turned into the pellets used for 3D printing. One of the Echo Prince key customers is Kenya Coast National Polytechnic, a college in Mombasa. Architectural students there use 3D models made from recycled plastic to showcase house structures and surrounding features like trees, cars and people. These 3D models have made teaching easier for lecturers and improved students' understanding of their coursework. The 3D models, it has really helped us as every time it comes in exam, it is really easily for you to remember what to do and what you have been taught by the teacher. These 3D models has helped in um, creating the realities uh, of what is done theoretically in class. During the demonstration, it helps now in creating the reality. We can see the realities uh, of cars, of um, uh, landsca landscapes, that is there for trees, for persons, people who are living in a particular building. Uh, when we do our design. As education and teaching methods change, these young innovators see a chance to grow their business by using plastic waste to benefit students, the environment and their communities. For now, Ecoprint Generation prints only small and medium-sized objects, but they have ambitions to print bigger ones, such as a house that architecture students can use for their studies. Mohamed Yusuf, VOA News, Mombasa, Kenya.